On the edge of real and cyberspace, there's one place you can go, and you found it. Hey guys and girls, welcome to this episode of KWTV. And welcome inside my, well, the smallest studio that I can use for podcasting, or video casting, or screen cast- casting. Welcome inside the Fort Focus. Don't worry, I'm not driving, I'm stationary, I'm actually a little early for a meeting. So I had some time to kill, so I decided to give this little setup a trial run because it ties into the subject that we are going to talk about today. As you can see, you are not only in my car, you're all, uh, also in my working day. Uh, got a meeting, as I said, in a couple of minutes. Uh, was a little early, and uh, thus the tire. The tire? The tie. <laughs> not the tire. The tire is at the bottom of the car. The tie. Um... What we are going to talk about today is tools to turn your smartphone or your iPhone or your iPod into a one-man video broadcasting device. Because, well, quite frankly, I don't have a little camera woman here at the back. And as you can see, I'm not doing the uh, classic um, video podcasting from the road. As usual, I have something else that is holding up the uh, iPod Touch, which I am using to record this, and providing me with some great flexible mobile uh, ways to uh, produce content. That's exactly what we are going to talk about today. How to turn your mobile device into a, well, uh, one-man screen and podcasting uh, device. And we are going to review some products that help you do that. So, I am going to be off. Enjoy. Uh, some coffee if you have it with you. Otherwise, enjoy this episode of KWTV. See you guys. On the edge of real and cyberspace, there's one place you can go, and you found it. Welcome to KWTV, the one and only screencast that tunes tag into your way of life and lets the technology work for you. My name's Nightwise, and for the coming 40 minutes or so, I'll be your host on this uh, video podcast where we are going to talk about technology that helps you turn your smartphone into a one-man camera crew. It's great to be back again. Uh, it's been a few weeks since we did an episode, but I have been pretty busy. But today I've got a fun-filled and action-packed and information-stuffed episode for you, so you will have plenty to digest. Let me just start out by, you know, pointing out that the fact, pointing out the fact that I have bought a iPod Touch a few uh, months ago. A few months ago, yeah, it was was about around Christmas. Now in KWTV 21, we reviewed this little device and we uh, especially had some uh, attention and uh, did some extra coverage of its possibilities as a um, digital video camera. Because these days, um, uh, smartphones and devices like these have cameras that are better and better and better. I mean, uh, if I take a look at the camera on my HTC Desire, uh, it's got 8 megapixels and it can do video in HD and stuff like that. So more and more uh, we are coming into a situation where our portable phones or MP3 players are actually better in quality than some of the point and shoot cameras we still have or some of the camcorders we still have. One of the examples is that uh, I've got a camcorder downstairs which shoots to SD card, but that it's just a standard resolution. Now my HTC Desire and this baby shoots in uh, HD. So I would rather prefer using devices like this, they're portable and they serve multiple goals, um, to do some video work. But you know, you know how it is. You can't walk around like this and trying to film yourself. I mean, this baby has a rear-facing camera, so that's okay, I can see myself, but you know, for some devices who only have a front-facing camera, you'll really have to turn them around and just kind of hope that you are in the shot. So wouldn't it be great that there would be technology out there that would assist you in turning these devices into a one-man camera crew? They would be uh, devices that would help us, you know, hold our smartphones or our digital devices as we use them to make pictures or take video. So that's exactly what we are going to talk about today. We're going to review two devices, the um, Gorilla Mobile from Joby.com and the Mosey Mount from Mosey.com. Both devices uh, are very versatile and serve our little quest. 
on turning our smartphones and our MP3 players into a one-man camera crew. Let's review. The first product that I want to review today is the Mosey mount. The Mosey mount is a tripod mount for your iPhone, your iPod Touch, your smartphone, whatever you use. Uh, and it is by the company Mosey.com. What I really like about the Mosey mount is the packaging. Uh, this is what it, how it comes in. Uh, a nice um, tin box, clear uh, plastic cover here. Very, very, uh, very, very much attention to detail here. I, what I really love is that they even have the logo stamped on the back. And we're going to take a look at what's inside. Take off the cover. And the first thing we see is actually the Mosey uh, mount back end. Let's call it like that. Because the way the Mosey mount functions is that it attaches a um, rubber piece of plastic, or not a rubber piece of plastic, a piece of rubber with a threaded hole in the center to your smartphone and that a threaded hole is connected to the Mosey mount stand. Now, uh, as by standard, it comes with one Mosey mount uh, sticker for your iPhone. It comes with a um, manual on how to apply as you can see, very simple to apply, but uh, they take a lot of, they have a lot of attention to detail on how to set it up. Again, here's the nice logo. Really like it. Comes back here on the Mosey mount itself. Attention to detail. And then I was, I was really thrilled. Brown paper. Really? Wow. <clears throat> Who still packs stuff in brown paper? It's like, you know, <clears throat> buying expensive lingerie. Not that I do that myself, but, you know. Open up the brown paper, <clears throat> and inside is another uh, cover for the iPhone 4. And this one has the Mosey mount sticker, the rubberized sticker, uh, already attached. Now, as you can see, it doesn't add a lot to the general thickness of your phone. It doesn't add an, an extra layer, but it is secured very firmly. And the great thing is, it's also nice because uh, you can really grip it and it also provides a little bit of an anti-slide function with the uh, with the circle and the, the, the grip lines here, which are pretty good. Um, from the uh, creators of Mosey Mount, I also got a second one. Uh, they have several models of these stickers for the back of your phone, depending on what phone that you have. And it's pretty um, well versatile because you could just stick it on there. You can also choose the patterns on these stickers. They can they are sold separately. I got one to test on a second smartphone. Again, packaging takes a lot of care uh, of the logo. Like it. <clears throat> the Mosey mount itself comes with a manual, the tripod. Um, one would say um, you don't need a manual. Well, you don't need a manual once you know how it works because it took me a little bit of. Uh, tinkering to find it out. This is the actual tripod that comes with the Mosey mount. It's plastic, but it's pretty firm stuff. What I uh, really like about it is these rubberized ends that uh, allow you to mount the Mosey mount without uh, having it slide off the surface, which is really good. Um, it has a little lever here, and it has the screw to attach to the Mosey mount here. So. The way it opens up is really cool. You just pull back one end and then you spread the front legs and then you have your Mosey mount. Now the great thing about this is, this is a standard screw. So let's say, let's say you have a camera. You can also use the stand uh, for a standard camera mount, which is also pretty good. It's pretty sturdy. I wouldn't, you know, recommend putting a big SLR on here, but, you know, that also works because it's a standard threaded hole. And we'll show you an example on how the Mosey mount actually goes on there. We'll take the um, iPhone 4 cover here. <clears throat> so you have the hole, you have the Mosey mount. Just get this into the light here. Don't worry if you can't see the details. Even I can't see the details. Just screw that on there. Turn it 
filter in a few times to get it nice and firm. Apparently did something wrong there. Oh, there it is. Here it is. It's nicely mounted. It's very firm. You can mount it in portrait mode, uh, in landscape mode, and it's a very secure setup. So uh, we are going to test it out on the iPod Touch and on uh, one of the bigger smartphones out there because we really want to give it its uh, run for its money. So we're going to try the iPod Touch on there and then we are going to see if we can uh, hook up the HTC Desire Z which is about one of the biggest largest smartphones uh, on the market and see if the Mosey mount holds up to uh, supporting that as well. So to push the Mosey mounts uh, limits a little bit, let's see how it holds up with the um, one of the biggest smartphones uh, on the market for the moment, the HTC Desire HD. Um, what I've done is I've uh, bought myself a separate cover. Well, I haven't bought it. I, somebody gave it to me because I would have never bought a pink one. But uh, I'm going to use a separate cover to connect the Mosey mount. Um, let me just open up the Mosey mount here. Sorry about that. Should have come prepared. This is the Mosey mount grip. It also, you see, comes with another manual, which is good. I'll explain to you how to do it. So we just peel it off. Here it is. Um, and we're going to mount that to um, this cover and mount the cover to the phone. But you can also apply the Mosey mount directly to the phone. Now with the HTC Desire because it's so big, you have to take into account that, you know, we have the battery cover here and stuff like that. So it's always preferable to use it on a good, um, well, second skin or something like I'm doing right now. Let's just apply that. There you go. And now we are going to um, stick the Mosey mount on there. Let's clear the surface a little bit, wipe it down. There we go. That's nice and clean. And we're going to attach the Mosey mount to there. Let's see that it's that it's nicely in the middle. Screw up top. There you go. It's almost straight. It doesn't really matter. You see, it doesn't add a lot of thickness to the phone. Not really. But it does add a lot of grip as well. So, we mount it to the Mosey mount. Et voila, we have our camera. Now, in, case of, in the case of the HTC Desire, um, because it's such a big phone, it's almost impossible to set it up in portrait mode. Although, that, well, that goes as well. So, you really have a nice, you can use it as a display screen, which is pretty nice, but you can also use it, of course, as a camera stand. Let's just do that for a minute. Wake up my phone. Go to the home screen. Bzz. Go to the home screens. Let's see. There you go. There you go. And now you can see that you can really use the Mosey mount to your full advantage. It does pan and tilt and everything very well. And what I must say is I really like the Mosey mount on a large device like the HTC Desire because it is really, really firm stuff and it uh, gets a good grip. It's a good device uh, and it works just uh, great. That's the Mosey mount on a non-iPod slash iPhone device. Of course, we also want to try the iPod Touch that I have with the Mosey mount in order to uh, make sure that we can use that as a camera device. Now, uh, the Mosey mount does come with uh, the extra sticker that you can just attach to the uh, back end of your uh, smartphone, or your, in this case, my iPod Touch. Now, I'm just going to give you a demo of how tight or how secure these stickers really are. I'm just going to peel off one layer here. Stick it onto my iPod, push, make sure it's nicely in the center, 
And even just with one sticker attached, it does not let go. It does not move. It does not budge. So it attaches directly to your advice. It doesn't add a lot of thickness. Um, but in case.